hi guys welcome back to another video so this is actually the second out of my three part series where i show you how i design logos for my clients so i'll walk you through the process step by step of how i design for paying clients so this is not just a free work this is actually a paid work and i'll walk you through the process i designed the logo so the brand we are designing for today, I'll just write the name as a reference. Green Environs Biotech. So this is the name of the brand. I'll leave it here as a reference so I'll know what I'm doing. And to start, I'll also import the colors I'll need. So for that, I actually downloaded color combinations. So this I got from, I, I just did a Google search for it. So this will show you color palettes of colors that blend together. If you don't have a color in mind for the brand. But if the brand you are designing for already have their official color, by all means, you should use that color. So for this, I'm going to get colors from these images. So first off, I want to design the icons I will use. So I'll just import all the images for the icon. So I need this. And um, this as well. So the concept was to get something related to the full um, brand name is Green Environs Biotechnology. So the idea was to get something related to nature and um, technology as well. So next up, I'll just design. I'll crop this so I, will, I wouldn't have to see this. This image I got from Google and I'll put a link to download that. You can actually get icons you need for your work by doing a Google search or getting it from pixabay.com. Those are royalty free images. And you should be careful of copyright claims. So you don't just get images from the web and import into your work. As you can see, I'm going to recustomize this. I just used it as a reference point, but I'm actually going to recustomize everything. So I want to remove that inner part and use it for something else. Okay, I'll match all the icons, all the elements together, then use the erase color tool to remove the white background. Okay, next up, I'm going to add another icon. The What I want from with this is letter G. A letter G that looks technology-like. So I'll use this. Then I'll change the color to black. I'll add border radius just so it blends well with other elements okay i'll increase the border radius to about 12 or 15. okay with this i can merge these two elements together and then change the color to be black for now Okay, I can actually use one of the colors I need. 
so I'll get that from here so I want to use a blue color for it so this shape is done next up is this so this has already been done for me I'll just erase the white color background then I will I'll add an element to this just for erasing everything I'll reduce the opacity Okay, now I want to turn this. This people never shoot in now. Never. I want to turn this to this side and then align. So as you can see, this is the letter G with a nature icon. So this is the brand icon for this logo I'm about to design. I can go ahead and merge these two together. So this has been done. I can begin adding the text for this. So without wasting much time, I'll just add it. In green environments. For this, I'm going to use a simple font. I'll use Navis. This is a default font on Pixel Lab. So you can install that as well. Okay, I'll change the colors for this. For the green, I will use green color for the letter green ironic heart so i'll just get the color from the leaf icon and then for environs i'll use the blue color um i just want to keep this simple using not more than three colors and then i'll add another text and um, change the font for this I would use one custom font. If you don't have all the fonts in this video, I'll put a link to download all the custom fonts I use on Pixel Labs. So I'll also show you a video, I'll put a link to a video where I show you how to install custom fonts on Pixel Lab as well. So now I'll enlarge this so it aligns well here. I'm going to reduce it so that the brand name stands out. And I'll increase it. And then align to the center.
Okay, I'll change the color to be black because I want to use for the background I want to use a bright color. So with this I can say I'm done with this logo. I will just change the color to white so you see it more. And then I'll hide some of this. Okay, so this is the brand logo. Ideally, you should save your work as a project at every point in time. So I'll call this green. Green E. So next up, I can apply my mock-up to this, but before that, I also want to show you how to add social media icons. So for this, I'll just import two social media icons um, for Instagram and um, WhatsApp. Again, you can download all of this from Google. Just do a Google search of Facebook icon, WhatsApp icon, any icon you need, they are available on Google. You can do that. You can also create it from scratch, but there is no point reinventing the wheel. Something that is already available for free online. I want to make sure that they are aligned properly. I'll use this. So turning on this magnet icon will make sure all the elements you are using are aligned on the same line. So with that, I can just add the text. I'll just add something fictitious here. Let me just say green environment as the Facebook and WhatsApp handle and Instagram handle. For, sorry, reduce the size about 20 then change the fonts I'm using the fourth font for this video that's to show you that you don't have to install you don't have to use custom fonts always okay next up I would change the color to be dark for uniformity. Alternatively, I can use the dark blue color, but I just want to use the black color for this. And I'll put a fictitious number for the WhatsApp icon. So I'm done with this, I can unzoom and then merge all of them together. I want to apply a mock-up to it, so for that I need to merge them together. But make sure you've saved your work as a project before doing that, so that whenever you need to go back and perform any edits, you can always go back. To it. So with that out of the way, I would also use a light background. I use the gradient for this. I have a link to a video where I showed you how to come up with a background like this. So after that, I would um, apply 3D effects to it, change the 3D shape, reduce the depth to about 5 
and then use the gradient for the depth color. I also select the background color. Then for this, in my last video I showed you how to do that, so I'm just going to do it quickly. Okay, um, I'll apply emboss to this just for additional beautification. I can work with the default. And lastly, I'll add shadow to give it a 3D effect. I'll reduce the opacity, the blur reduced to it. And then offset, I'll use plus two and plus plus. I'll use two for both the X and Y offset. So with that, I think we're done with this. I can save it as a project, but I'll just save it as an image. Then select ultra dimension to get the best quality. So with that, we've completed this logo for a fictitious brand. This is not actually a fictitious brand. This is something I did for a client. And I'm just doing this video to show you that it's possible to get clients and design stunning images, stunning logos using your smartphone. I'll put a link to a video where I showed you five ways on how to make money as a graphic designer. Do it to check that video in the description section of this particular video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.